and welcome to Mock the Week. I'm Dara Breen, and joining me this week are Nish Kumar, Felicity Ward, and Ed Gamble, Miles Jupp, Hugh Dennis, and Milton Jones. <laughs> we start with a round called Picture of the Week. I show the panel a topical image and ask them to tell me what's happening. So, what's going on here? Uh, that is the leader of the Conservative Party pointing at Theresa May. <laughs> <laughs> Is he pointing the way to the doll queue? <laughs> I think probably she has just asked which way it is to Ship Creek. Here's <laughs> <laughs> Boris saying, look at that totty over there, not you. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like when you get to the till at Nando's, but then you forget what your friend wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Or is she wearing camouflage in case she has to escape through the sewers? <laughs> <laughs> has he just done that trick where you tap someone on the shoulder on the opposite side and then look away? <laughs> <laughs> and he so would. He absolutely yeah. so would do that. Like, <laughs> 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 is Theresa May saying she's got one of those mum mouths and she's doing the one more word out of you, Boris? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you ambassador of Bongo Bongo Land. <laughs> Is he saying, now, under this one, I've got Java, and then under my left, there's Africa. I want you to see if you can smell the difference. Don't <laughs> 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 uh, actually tell us what exactly it is? Yes. That is a picture of Theresa May, who is the Prime Minister of this country. Oh, very good. And Boris Johnson, who is the Foreign Secretary of this country. Sitting in chairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Thank you very much, Hugh Dennis. <laughs> yes, this is a recent picture of Prime Minister Theresa May and Foreign Secretary <laughs> Boris Johnson, the head of this week's Conservative Party conference. The conference was overshadowed by rumours of leadership challenges and rifts in the party. Did you follow the conference? Were you watching it? Avidly. Oh, yeah. oh, oh I'm yeah. one of the great Tories of our time, Diary. You know <laughs> me. <laughs> I don't understand why the Tories have their conference in Manchester, because that is like Labour holding theirs in Tunbridge Wells, <laughs> or the Liberal Democrats holding it in anywhere that has a university. <laughs> I mean, she's been... this sort of a number of people now who are sort of vying for a job. The sort of favourites at the minute are Boris Johnson, Jacob Rees-Mogg and David Davis, which is essentially the world's most difficult game of shag, marry, kill. <laughs> astonished that he is the foreign secretary and he called Africa a country. I mean, in turn, I'm sure that Africa called him a similar word, much shorter. <laughs> <laughs> it is him because during the week he said, oh, we stand by every single word she said. Um, and it's like, May at this point is like a supply teacher, mm. a replacement teacher, <laughs> and Boris is the boy who starts the humming. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just constantly, <laughs> just slightly undermining. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, no, no, no. Mm. <laughs> she tried to say she understood what people had been through on the electoral campaign, her MPs, because she's been on it before, and she, and I quote, had to make lasagna for a hundred people before. <laughs> mm. But I think she knows she's leaving, and that's her application to do Celebrity MasterChef. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys are the same, but I feel really uncomfortable when I see a Tory apologise and take responsibility. It just doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, I don't know, like when you're an adult and your mum's boyfriend buys you a present at Christmas for the first time and you just look at it, you're like, don't do this, man. Like, this just makes you look weak. <laughs> She's just trying to sort of roll with these things, isn't she? She's had lots of sort of people having a go at her this week in the run-up thing, and then she says, I, you know, I, I don't think strong leaders surround themselves with yes-men, which is a sort of clever response to lots of people. Strong not... leaders surround themselves by people who hate what you do <laughs> yeah. uh, and are really angry Strong leaders surround themselves with plotters who hate them. <laughs> <laughs> That's certainly what you've done with this line-up, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Stop undermining me. Mm, she's... Yeah. <laughs> she's kind of... Stop humming. Stop humming. <laughs> You cannot believe you all do that. You are Say children. what you will about yeah. us. We have yeah. a good time. <laughs> I think there's yeah. calls to sack Boris Johnson, but I've always wondered, how do you sack a parboiled potato? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Well, what you do is you actually kind yes. of shake it in the thing and then... You, and then... I didn't mean to be racially insensitive there. I'm sorry. It's a little bit awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Neil Harsh. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Felicity. Have you managed to hold on to a Prime Minister in Australia for more than a week? <laughs> She's sort of forgotten who she is, which isn't likely to happen to me, because I just found this on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Is it for me in case I forget who I am during the yes. show? Can we all well, have you've a You've all go? got them. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> <Could> you... <laughs> all right, are we got the point where we're just bringing in toys? <laughs> yeah. All right, lads, I don't know what has happened here, but my one says Tess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we've got a Ramesh one somewhere. <laughs> 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 in other news, what changes did UKIP introduce at their party conference, which happened this week? Black people. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're trialling them. Okay. <laughs> they changed their logo, didn't they? Yeah. The, mm. This is the new one. Uh, this is the, the lion they chose, which just has... I know it's just a lion, <laughs> but it just has an unfortunate kind of a... <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> That's because that's because a UKIP supporter just told it it has to go back to Bongo Bongo Land. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can I... That's what Dara used to look like when he had your hair. hair. <laughs> You're putting your hair. You're yeah. putting your hair. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> It just looks really down about this. It looks like it's it just is, yeah. got a dart in the arse, doesn't it? Yeah. It's just that. <laughs> the just started to take hot. I can see I'm one. The, I mean, the logo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the logo for whom? <laughs> mm. I'm, so I'm not even from the. I'm actually from Africa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah why is the lion ever associated? There's I mean, nothing more British than they <laughs> They wrote that put me next to the UK lion. <laughs> <laughs> You keep having a line is like the Kenyan flag having Paul Chuckle on it. <laughs> <laughs> what line is it very similar to? Well, it's the, it's, it's the Premier League, uh, isn't it? It's the it? Premier League line. Yeah. It's, it's almost... really upset the Premier League, not surprisingly. But you mm. wonder whether it's deliberate, actually. They're mm. hoping that they'll get a massive... TV Adam. rights deal for covering <laughs> the, the UKIP conference. But if UKIP are in the Premier League, what if they get into Europe? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, which new group are Labour hoping to win the support of? The Conservative Party. <laughs> yes, that's all they need. If they can just grab them, then they'll have enough seats. Is it oh, Coldplay? Yeah. It's, no, that's not enough for them. That isn't. It's Coldplay fans, isn't it? Because it's people over 47. <laughs> it is. Oh, what's that? Too much for you, Coldplay fans? <laughs> <laughs> the, no, uh, that was fine, Nish. <laughs> <laughs> The magic age. Labour want to attract older people, and old yeah. people, apparently, the bit where people change from Labour to Conservative, I think, is now 47, apparently. Yeah, they, want to, the they want to attract more voters over 47, or as you could call them, the youth vote. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn spent so long trying to get the youth vote by saying that he liked grime, and now he's got to turn round to the older, older people and go, God, terrible racket, that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I remember when Dizzy Rascal was just a scoundrel you spun round a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and labour wards in hospitals are full of young kids. <laughs> <laughs> in other news, what does billionaire Elon Musk hope to achieve in less than 30 minutes? He has said that he's, going, he's got rockets. He thinks we will travel from city to city <laughs> by rocket and yep. he can get to New York in 30 minutes. And I feel like I first heard that story when I was 10 years old. <laughs> And decades later, we still have Ryanair. <laughs> <laughs> what, what bit of New York is that? That's no, no, that's because the rocket will also go to Mars. Oh, that's Mars. Yeah. Uh, this what, is why you're the is... science guy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's, you know the difference that, between New York and Mars. Okay, that's the moon. That's the moon. Do you know how I know it's the moon? Because you can see Earth just behind us, uh, right? So that's uh, the moon, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, there yeah. we are. <laughs> Teach me more about science, I Dara. Shall. <laughs> yeah. Where to begin? <laughs> uh, Tell us more about it if you can get your lips off Brian Cox's butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell me how I can get my lips on his butt, if you can tell <laughs> <laughs> The robots, the, the, you know, the star, everything. Really, everything, everything, yeah. You know what I've got to say to that? Mmm... <laughs> <laughs> my 
have no authority anymore. <laughs> have no power Most of the anymore. series, school's out, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Is Mars is just a rock. Can you imagine how boring that journey would be? <laughs> just surrounded by wealthy geology nerds, like, oh, I know it's sedimentary. <laughs> For three hours. Felicity, <laughs> he's they... right there. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, is that true? Surely they would why did you come on this trip? <laughs> <laughs> your response to geology nerds was, <laughs> This the entire time. <laughs> you go on those, on those, like, you know, a tour around Venice, where you go, oh, too many canals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't even a bike or a Segway. Or... Short interstellar travel is already a thing, because space hoppers? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it's essentially scaling that up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah they, they do. I used to work in a space hopper showroom uh, as a bouncer. <laughs> We play a round called Put Your Johnson Away, I Don't Want to See It. <laughs> <laughs> this game involves Milton and Ed, so if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This round is a stand-up challenge. I launched a wheel of news, and wherever it chooses to stop, one of our performers will step forward and talk about that subject. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. And the first topic is music. Who wants to come out? Ed. Uh, I like heavy metal music. Yeah, none of you believe me, that's fine. <laughs> uh... I do not look like I like heavy metal music. I don't have a heavy metal face. Uh, I have what is known as a cold play face. That's what I've got. <laughs> Drink it in, basic bitch, indie white man face. That's me. <laughs> Other metalheads don't trust me either. I can't go to the gigs because I look like an undercover Mormon on a conversion mission. <laughs> <laughs> look like I'm going to start sneaking up behind people in the crowd going, hey, pretty rocking band, right? <laughs> yeah, you know who else was rocking? Lord Jesus Christ, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love the guitarist, yeah. Love, love the guitarist. Look, long hair and a beard. You know who else had long hair and a beard? <laughs> right again, Lord Jesus Christ, I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> What's this all day? Oh, head banging. Yeah, no, cool. I do head banging too, but when I do it, it's to get rid of gay thoughts. <laughs> Can't go to the gigs as well, because I, I don't know how to do the things that everyone does in the gigs. I feel out of place. Uh, heavy metal gigs, everyone does this. That is the sign of the beast, the sign of the devil. It shows you're part of the community. I'd never done that before. I feel too self-conscious. But I went to a gig recently, got brave enough to go there. Suddenly, my arm shot up in the air. I was like, oh, my God, I'm doing it. I'm actually joining in for the first time. I looked up, and what my hand was actually doing was this. <laughs> That is not the sign of the beast. That is an uncle saying the burgers are ready at a barbecue. That's all that is. And Gabo. That leaves us with Milton. Let's see what your topic is. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is school. <laughs> so I went up to a fruit stall the other day, and behind it was my old maths teacher. He didn't recognise me, so can I help? I said, yeah. If apples are 75 pence a pound... <laughs> do you know, he just looked at me and went... <gasps> <laughs> I thought, oh, no, it was P.E., wasn't it? <laughs> music teachers, they were rubbish, and they? they could only count to four, and then they'd try and distract you with some music. <laughs> Our woodwork teacher would always say, my door is always open. And we'd say, still not fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> I went back to my old school the other day. It was weird being back there. The smell of varnish, the echo of the science room. Ah, oh, room, 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 room. <laughs> Memory of the fire engines. <laughs> anyway, I was shown into the Phoenix Hall, uh, which wasn't there in my day. <laughs> <laughs> My old math teacher said to me, Jones, how did you do it? I said, I used that old formula, me times I can. He said, is that why you're dressed as a Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> That's all me. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right, boys, go to Egamo. <laughs> Our next round is called 
if this is the answer, what is the question? On the board are six categories. Felicity, which category would you like? Uh, transport, please. Okay, categories transport. Your answer is 49 years. What is the question? Is it how long does it take to get home on the night bus now that Uber's been suspended? <laughs> <laughs> if you book a two-week holiday flying Ryanair, <laughs> how long should you take off work just to make sure you get back? <laughs> Is it, uh, at what age will I finally be beach body ready? <laughs> <laughs> Is it how long before tigers are extinct if we keep eating all the Frosties? <laughs> Is it, at what age do you start thinking, maybe they should go back to where they came from? <laughs> <laughs> Is it, at what point in the Hundred Years' War did the generals say, come on, lads, nearly halfway through? <laughs> <laughs> Is it the number of years since 1968? <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? I've got you there, haven't I, Dara? I feel you're not getting the spirit of it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the extended album version of Craig David's Seven Days? <laughs> <laughs> They know the actual correct answer. Yes. Please. When yes. will Brexit happen? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? What's the world record for staying under a desk that I'm going to break now? <laughs> <laughs> I think he means it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he All I want now is for Hugh's face to just go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling insight into your facial expressions, yeah. by the way. Um, <laughs> in, in all seriousness, could you, could you, could you come back out again? Would that be, uh... Then I won't get the record, Dara. You, okay, you won't get the record. So, okay. I'll look right. ridiculous. There isn't enough paper, Milton. You will struggle. Yeah. <laughs> For continuity, we really need you to come back out again. <laughs> <laughs> We just need a Milton whisperer. Yeah. You uh, said if I wore green, we'd celebrate St Patrick's Day. <laughs> And everyone Next would year. dress the same. <laughs> 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 Milton, get out from under <laughs> the goddamn desk. <laughs> <laughs> this is ten minutes of the Christmas special. Dara <laughs> <laughs> wears gold shoes, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> is the answer how long are we yeah. going to be? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, my Lord. Do you okay. want the actual answer? Yeah, go on, why don't you? <laughs> How long have Monarch been an airline? Indeed it is. Thank you very much, you there. <laughs> yes, the question I was looking for was, how many years did Monarch Airlines operate for before it went into administration this week? The airline, the UK's fifth biggest and the country's largest ever to collapse, ceased trading with over 100,000 customers needing to be brought back home in the UK's largest peacetime repatriation. Yes, Monarch is gone after 49 years. Yeah. And apparently, among the many excuses given for losing money is they'd really invested a lot in bunting with happy 50th anniversary Monarch. <laughs> <laughs> That is <laughs> really <laughs> awful. It, it, it's terrible. The people who were really upset were the royal family because they woke up to the headline, Monarch goes into administration. <laughs> well, no, Prince shocker. Charles actually saw the headline, Monarch collapses and got really excited. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yes, it has, and 100,000 people are left stranded. Yeah, I feel they... sorry for all those who thought that their holidays were at all protected, but it turns out they're not protected at all. At all. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, really I think nice. you were very quick to give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely <laughs> nailed that one. Call of the delivery. Uh, <laughs> what's really odd about this repatriation, though, is they're saying it's incredibly difficult logistically and they're thinking of hiring planes from Qatar Airways and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And you're thinking, well, why not use the Monarch planes? They were yeah. already scheduled to go. Yeah. They're, 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 oh, the planes haven't... They haven't, like, oh, no... no. <laughs> they didn't go win administration. Smash up the planes! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we could probably use them! No! No! <laughs> there should be no record of these planes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, in other flying news, what did EasyJet announce recently? Electric. 
Electric, electric planes, yes, <laughs> electric, electric planes. Electric planes are a dreadful... If you think about how noisy an electric hand dryer is, right? Oh. A Dyson, how much noise it makes, you'd half dry your hands and you've got to sugar them, you're just like, I'm deafening. <laughs> an electric plane, I, I'm sorry, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> just, it's just Dragon's Death. Yeah. 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 Seemingly, yeah. 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 just, just the secret I fourth just, dragon. Yeah. They just told me it was one of the Dara... Have you done that, presumably? <laughs> <laughs> Presumably electric planes are possible now, aren't they? But it's just the extension leads that, mm. that get them away. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be... They're going to be like batteries, aren't they? Yeah. They're going to be battery-powered planes. They can't be plugged. Yeah. Well, how so... are they going to get a return journey? Cos someone will leave the plane charger in their hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> The announcement, uh, attention, EasyJet passengers, does anyone have a charger for a Boeing 7? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I have the old charger for the Boeing. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 The really wide one? Do you think, is that the wide one you want? No, but the... that's the A380. Oh, <laughs> they're all the same. Like, I, like iPhone batteries just going, we've got 12% left, is this going to get us <laughs> to Madrid? Yeah. <laughs> 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 turn the lights down, turn the lights down. <laughs> put, put it on airplane mode. It already is! <laughs> We really need electric planes, don't we? Because planes are massive yeah. sort of polluters. And it blows my mind that we haven't all got electric cars as standard because it does feel a bit like, well, one of them is killing people and the other one isn't. Like, if you went to a cake shop and they were like, this cake has poison in it and this one has not poison, you'd go, no, oh, I'm going to go with the not poison one. <laughs> but yeah, we... but does the, what, does the poison one have chocolate? Or... <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, but chocolate poison was my wrestling name. <laughs> 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 All the way from the east. <laughs> <laughs> I never want to see you in a unitard. <laughs> Very hairy. <Yeah. laughs> unitard was actually my wrestling. <laughs> so we know who to blame that one. <laughs> my wrestling name is Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> now we come to scenes we'd like to see. So if everyone can make the way over to the performance area, I'll read at this week's topics and then we'll see what our panelists can come up with. OK, here we go. The first subject is... Unlikely things to hear over at Tannoy. Would all virgins please report to the virgin check-in desk? <laughs> <laughs> If you have any excess baggage, please report it to a train guard. If you have any emotional baggage, just report to Tina. She's a really good listener. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to home base. We particularly welcome our staff from Guantanamo Bay. We hope you'll feel at home dressed in orange and being asked questions you don't know the answers to. <laughs> Ryanair are pleased to announce that the refund on all cancelled flights can be picked up from the Monarch check-in desk. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tanoy Dave and I'm here to say I'm really bored at work. Have yourself a great day. <laughs> <laughs> and to the parents of the lost little boy Timothy, we have found him, so now's the chance to make your escape. He really is a little shit, isn't he? <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Weight Watchers. It really doesn't matter how many pastries, past tries, you've had. <laughs> <laughs> Would someone with a camera please come to the Tannoy room? I have sat on the microphone and I am literally talking out of my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> if you look out the left window of the train, you'll see the sea. And if you look out the right window, you'll see the sea. Oh, God, we're in the sea! <laughs> <laughs> bing bong! Could the person who's stolen the bing bong machine... <laughs> ..please bring it back? <laughs> Attention, shoppers, we have a young man who says he's lost. I mean, he's 45, he just needs some career advice. <laughs> Would the man in the red speedos doing the front crawl up lane four please stop? This is a bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't wish to upset or worry anybody, but do we have a doctor on board? Or, failing that, a pilot? <laughs> This is the captain of the ship speaking. Last night, we were attacked by a giant blind space monster. I fired a laser at it, but unfortunately, it's cured its eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> Would the owner of a Land Rover please realise you live in a city, have no need for an off-road vehicle, and everyone hates you? <laughs> <laughs> We have illuminated the seatbelt sign, which means Seatbelt Man will be here very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Southern Rail would like to apologise for the fuck me, there's one coming. <laughs> <laughs> the next topic is unlikely lines from a blockbuster movie. No, Mr. Bond, I don't expect you to talk. I expect you to die of the many STDs you've contracted. <laughs> Jesus, man, <laughs> pop a Johnny on! Theosaurus, the movie, the film, the flick. <laughs> the motion picture. <laughs> That's Mad Max. Those are his brothers, Sad Max, Bad Max and Glad Max. <laughs> and this is a fella who started it all. Dad Max. <laughs> you might well be a Blade Runner rhyme, but in this house we do not run with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> not only do I transform from a truck into a robot, I also do next day delivery. <laughs> My name is Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to seduce me? I just work here, man. Do you want the free Coke with the meal deal or not? <laughs> you want to return the Jedi? Of course. Credit note give you I will. <laughs> Whoever you are, I will find you and I will... Oh, I'm so sorry, I think I've got the wrong number. <laughs> Frozen. The tragic tale of pensioners confused by gas tariffs. <laughs> the name's Bond. Uh, Tony Bond, uh, James's brother. Uh, don't have a licence to kill, but I've got one to drive a forklift, but apparently that doesn't count for anything, does it, Mum? <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Strange, you say? How strange on a scale of Zeus to Shipman. <laughs> Imagine a world where monkeys have given up tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> Planet of the Vapes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, Bond, this is your cover, working in this optician's. It's called For Four Eyes Only. <laughs> Good God, the dead have ri Oh, no, it's Tory party conference, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is Spider-Man Homecoming. And like most teenage boys, Spider-Man's at home, coming. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, make my voice higher. Oh, like an Oompa Loompa! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> My mama always said to me, life is like a box of chocolates, something that you panic by at a service station on the way to visit relatives. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Governor, don't give me an hard time. I'm the Cockney Avenger. Any old Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> The mischief god of Norse! Why is no one else dressed up? <laughs> oh, you said dress low key. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then that round of applause is going to add to the Mish. That's the end of the show. This week's winners are Nish 
Kumar, Felicity Ward and Ed Gambo. Commiserations to Miles Shot, Steve Dennis and Milton Jones. Thank you for watching. I'm Darrell Green. Good night. Hello and welcome to Mock the Week. I'm Darrell Breen and joining me this week are Nish Kumar, Felicity Ward and Ed Gamble, Miles Jupp, Hugh Dennis and Milton Jones. <laughs> we start with a round called Picture of the Week. I show the panel a topical image and ask them to tell me what's happening. So what's going on here? Uh, that is the leader of the Conservative Party pointing at Theresa May. <laughs> Is he pointing the way to the doll queue? <laughs> I think probably she has just asked which way it is to Shit Creek. Is <laughs> Boris saying, look at that totty over there, not you. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like when you get to the till at Nando's, but then you forget what your friend wanted. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or is she wearing camouflage in case she has to escape through the sewers? <laughs> <laughs> has he just done that trick where you tap someone on the shoulder on the opposite side and then look away? <laughs> <laughs> and he so would. He absolutely yeah. so would do that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is Theresa May saying she's got one of those mum mouths and she's doing the one more word out of you, Boris? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you ambassador of Bongo Bongo Land. <laughs> Is he saying, now, under this one, I've got Java, and then under my left, there's Africa. I want you to see if you can smell the difference. Do you want actually tell us what exactly it is? Yes. That is a picture of Theresa May, who is the Prime Minister of this country. Oh, very good. And Boris Johnson, who is the Foreign Secretary of this country. Sitting in chairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Thank you very much. You know. <laughs> yes, this is a recent picture of Prime Minister Theresa May and Foreign <laughs> Secretary Boris Johnson, the head of this week's Conservative Party conference. The conference is overshadowed by rumours of leadership challenges and rifts in the party. Did you follow the conference? Were you watching it? Avidly. Oh, yeah. oh, I've been one of the great Tories of our time, Diary. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why the Tories have their conference in Manchester, because that is like Labour holding theirs in Tunbridge Wells <laughs> or the Liberal Democrats holding it in anywhere that has a university. <laughs> I mean, she's been this sort of a number of people now who are sort of vying for a job. The sort of favourites at the minute are Boris Johnson, Jacob Rees-Mogg and David Davis, which is essentially the world's most difficult game of shag, marry, kill. <laughs> I'm just astonished that he is the foreign secretary and he called Africa a country. I mean, in turn, I'm sure that Africa called him a similar word, much shorter. <laughs> It is him because during the week he said, oh, we stand by every single word she said. Um, and it's like, May at this point is like a supply teacher, mm. a replacement teacher, <laughs> and Boris is the boy who starts the humming. <laughs> um, <laughs> just constantly, just slightly undermining. Uh, <laughs> no, yes, yes, no, no, no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> She tried to say she understood what people had been through on the electoral campaign, her MPs, because she's been on it before, and she, and I quote, had to make lasagna for a hundred people before. <laughs> but I think she knows she's leaving, and that's her application to do Celebrity MasterChef. <laughs> <laughs> I felt sorry for it too. I don't know if you guys are the same, but I feel really uncomfortable when I see a Tory apologise and take responsibility. It just doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, I don't know, like, when you're an adult and your mum's boyfriend buys you a present at Christmas for the first time and you just look at it, you're like, don't do this, man. Like, <laughs> this just makes you look weak. <laughs> I was just trying to sort of roll with these things, isn't it? She's had lots of sort of people having a go at her this week in the run-up thing and then she says, I, you know, I, I don't think strong leaders surround themselves with yes-men, which is a sort of clever response to lots of people. Strong leaders not... surround themselves by people who hate what you do <laughs> yeah. uh, and are really angry strong and Strong leaders stop it. surround themselves with plotters who hate them. <laughs> <laughs> That's certainly what you've done with this line-up, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> stop undermining me. Mm, uh, she's kind of... Stop humming. Stop humming. <laughs> You cannot believe you all do that. You are Say what you will about yeah. us. We have yeah. a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I did.
There's yeah. calls to sack Boris Johnson, but I've always wondered, how do you sack a parboiled potato? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. What well, you do is you actually kind yes. of shake it in the thing and then you... And then... I didn't mean to be racially insensitive there, I'm sorry. It's a little bit off. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Lil Hush. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Felicity. Have you managed to hold on to a Prime Minister in Australia for more than a week? <laughs> She's sort of forgotten who she is, which isn't likely to happen to me, because I just found this on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> is it for me in case I forget who I am during the yes. show? Yes. Can we all but have a go? You've all got them. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> All right, we got to the point where we're just bringing in toys. <laughs> yeah. All right, lads, I don't know what has happened here, but my one says Tess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we've got a Ramesh one somewhere. <laughs> 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 in other news, what changes did UKIP introduce at their party conference, which happened this week? Black people. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're trialling them. Okay. <laughs> they changed their logo, didn't they? Yeah. The, mm. This is the new one. Uh, this is the, the lion they chose, which just has... I know it's just a lion, <laughs> but it just has an unfortunate kind of a... <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> That's because that's because a UKIP supporter just told it it has to go back to Bongo Bongo Land. <laughs> wow. Can I? That's what Dari used to look like when he had your hair. hair. You're putting your hair. Yeah. You're putting your hair. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> 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 It just looks really down about there. It looks like it's it just got sure. a dart in the arse, doesn't it? Yes. It's just that. <laughs> it has just started to take hot. I can see I'm, one. The, I'm the logo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the logo for whom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not so I'm not even from the. I'm actually from Africa. Yeah, yeah. yeah why is the lion ever a so. There's I mean, nothing more pretty. Yeah, they, 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 they 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 put me next to the UK lion. <laughs> Yeah. You keep having a line is like the Kenyan flag having Paul Chuckle on it. <laughs> <laughs> what line is it very similar to? Well, it's the, it's, it's the uh, Premier yes. League, it's isn't it? It's the Premier League line. Yeah. It's, it's really almost... upset the Premier League, not surprisingly. But you mm. wonder whether it's deliberate, actually. They're mm. hoping that they'll get a massive... TV rights deal for covering <laughs> the, the UKIP conference. But if UKIP are in the Premier League, what if they get into Europe? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, which new group are Labour hoping to win the support of? The Conservative Party. <laughs> yes, that's all they need. If they can just grab them, then they'll have enough seats. Is it Coldplay? Yeah. It's, no, that's not enough for them. <laughs> that isn't. It's Coldplay fans, isn't it? Because it's people over 47. <laughs> it is. Oh, what's that? Too much for you, Coldplay fans? <laughs> <laughs> the, no, uh, that was fine, Nish. <laughs> <laughs> The magic age. Labour want to attract older people, and old yeah. people, apparently, the bit where people change from Labour to Conservative, I think, is now 47, apparently. Yeah, they, want to, the they want to attract more voters over 47, or as you could call them, the youth vote. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn spent so long trying to get the youth vote by saying that he liked grime, and now he's got to turn round to the older, older people and go, God, terrible racket, that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I remember when Dizzy Rascal was just a scoundrel he spun round a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and labour wards in hospitals are full of young kids. Other news, what does billionaire Elon Musk hope to achieve in less than 30 minutes? He has said that he's, going, he's got rockets. He thinks we will travel from city to city <laughs> by rocket and yep. we can get to New York in 30 minutes. And I feel like I first heard that story when I was 